Well, what's up everyone? You ain't seen much of us lately. Tell you what, it, it got cold and rainy here. So I'm working on getting uh, the main I-beam up in my building, the main, I guess you could call it truss, whatever in the center, built up right here. I come down here the other day before it started raining and worked on this by myself. I got this coped, got it all laid out perfect and my spread on the building and uh, it, it started raining on me and I had just put everything up and leave. And I was hoping nobody come along or kick or move anything. So this morning I was down here and Cap saw me working. And uh, I told him, shoot, if he ain't doing nothing, help me out here, especially moving around this heavy steel. And uh, we did this work together before, so we both know what's up. So anyway, that's what we're doing right now, making that. I'm just going to put an extra I-beam up here in the top um, to just spread that load out more, make this thing stronger, because it's kind of a wide building. And if we do get a fluke snow, which has happened, right, Cap? Oh, yeah. And everybody builds on these low pitches, and, man, that snow piles up. A lot of these buildings go collapsing. None of mine I built ever collapsed anywhere because I would not do those low one inch and one and a half inch on 12 pitches and what even some of them were lower than that weren't they half on, 12. half on 12 man i just don't know why they do that nonsense and then boy when the snow comes does it load up so this is on a four on 12 pitch and uh that's what i like it stands on up there it's strong it spreads the weight out to the walls takes it down the column and uh, that is the way it should be. That's just the way it should be. But just for extra, and in case I want to lift something on that beam to give it even more strength, I want to add this extra eye beam in the middle. And that will also give this eye beam tons of more strength. Just It just creates way more strength exponentially. So that's what we're going to do right now. We get this slid on out here with cap, get it marked. I'm going to blow torch off the tips, get it welded up, and start welding our clips on for the sea purlin.
got this angle all cut and made it up on here. See here, and I'm about to weld this joker up. And I tell you what, that spread right there, that's probably about a 10 foot spread up there on top of that I-beam on this center truss up here. That will change the load on it tremendously. brace in the beam but we also measured and started putting these clips on for the C perlin and that's what I want to show you here so excuse this clip right here that's what you call this a clip this is about quarter inch steel right here you can get them 3 16 8 inch just whatever your local company that shears these has them and this is for mounting your C perlin zone or your Z perlin zone now there's different ways this is gonna be the top of this I-beam, this will be the top. You can put them on the top side here and you can run your C-purlin up on it and if they meet, they can butt in the middle there. That's the way a lot of buildings are done with those on top, like that right there. And that's a must if you're gonna run Z-purlin. The Z-purlin has to cradle into each other and so you're going to have to have a clip on top of your I-beam like that. And about those Z-purlins again, a Z, they lap over each other. That's the whole purpose of a Z, is it can cradle one into the next. I'll see if I can find some pictures of uh, an example of that. And what you do is you lap them, you cross them over each other. Pardon for me making an example, maybe I can pull up some pictures. And they give you a greater load on top uh, because you can cross them over and cradle them into each other. Like you said, you got a lap, Lap, a yeah. Long lap and a super lap. Yeah. But that super lap's about three foot on each side of the rafter. And when you got those wide, long span up there on the building and all, you want those Z perlins and you want that that lap like he's like Cap's talking about over here, like that super lap. So then the other way that if you don't want this I beam, say you got a low building, you're only building it eight, ten foot tall or something like it, twelve foot tall, and the overhead space matters to you. You can do like I'm doing and clip them in with C purlin down on the sides. And that tucks your um, roof more down onto your I beam. And it carries the load and disperses it even on both sides. So it still works out really good. So I know I want them recessed in like this right here. I've been doing it like this for a long while. Uh, I mean, I guess if you got into places up north that snow loads and engineering are just super great thing i like down here in texas maybe you might want all the load on that top flange but uh it's still carrying it out into that web in the middle straight down force and you got an equal load on both sides but i like it where there's less sticking up hanging down it's just the way i like it when i'm done with the building it's a way cleaner looking building too when you look up around inside of it the beam's kind of more tucked up and in by the time you hang it and put your insulation, all you really see up there left of the beam is about that bottom six inches right there. And I really like that.
I got my eye beam made up and it's ready to go up. So my uncle come over with his crane truck and he's about to set it up. lifting it now. Jesse was born on a winter's night in the middle of the storm. The road was blocked so Jesse was born in this old house. Raised on love in those sunny years when there was magic in the world. Laughter traveled well.
We got it. We got it. We got it. Y'all wonder why that ends hang out long right there. That's because there's going to be like a big overhang, like a carport out on the building right there. Um, that's where I'm going to park tractors and equipment and stuff in underneath it down that side. So pretty excited, boy, to have this up. Now I can move on. Putting in my parlance up overhead and get it all locked in. That's awesome. building is 27 foot to the peak. 